Hello, this is Daniel Blaze. My name is Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Forge and Optifine with shaders together for Minecraft 1.17.1. That's right, in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to install Forge and Optifine for Minecraft 1.17.1. It's actually pretty simple. It's just a little different from just installing Optifine with just shaders and not the mods. But, you know, obviously, sometimes you wanna use shaders with mods, so in this video, you're gonna learn how to do that. Before we get started, hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more of these videos, and all the links you're gonna need for this video are gonna be down in the description. Just follow the link to danielplace.net and you will be good to go. So to get started, what you wanna do is open up your Minecraft launcher, because the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually launch Minecraft 1.17.1 just once. Now, Mojang, or actually Microsoft, has just released a new launcher for Windows 10, which is going to be a little obnoxious for now because it doesn't really support mods and Optifine yet. Well, it should, but it doesn't do that properly. So if you're prompted with a pop-up that says upgrade, then for now, I would suggest you click cancel. And then other than that, every time you launch the Minecraft launcher, you're going to be seeing this red warning which you can just ignore because you can still use this launcher as well. So the only thing you need to do is actually go over to latest release 1.17.1 and click play. If you don't have it right here or 1.18 is the latest update and you still want to go back to 1.17.1, go over to installations, click new installation, just name it whatever you want. And then under version, this is the important bit, you just find release 1.17.1, you click create right there and then launch the newly created profile with 1.17.1. And this will make sure to actually download and install Minecraft 1.17.1 to your PC. Once you've made it to the main menu, just like this, you can just click quick game because this means you have 1.17.1 on your system. Now, the next thing to do is to go to the link down below in the description. In this video, I'm going to use two separate posts, one for Forge and one for Optifine. But of course, before I upload this video, I'm going to make a post where they're merged because most people just want to separately install either Forge or Optifine. But of course, for this video, we're going to need a post that includes all the links to both Forge and Optifine. So what you want to do is actually scroll down and find Forge Mod Loader. Now, this may open one ad, but that is no big deal. That is actually perfectly normal. So now if you click it again, you will be redirected to the downloads for Minecraft Forge. It may give you a pop up if it's your first time actually visiting this website where it says options and accept. You may as well just click accept, but you may also click option and then reject the cookies. That's all up to you. So what you want to do here is click the installer right here. There is no Windows installer yet, so you may actually have to fix Java for this one again. Now on this page, you just wait five seconds and then a skip button appears and you just click it and it will download the installer. Once it's finished downloading, you will get this warning and you just click keep if you actually use the link on my website. And then as you can see, we have this file right here where it has this little Java icon. Now, if it doesn't have this icon, you can try this, right clicking it, open with, and then select Java Platform SE Binary or find it in the choose another app section. If you can just click it and you actually get to see this, then you're good to go. You can just click OK here. But if you can't, then you need to come over to the other links that will be in the post that will, you know, look similar to this one. Like I said, they're going to be combined, so it's going to look a little different, but the link structure is going to be the same. So what usually will do the trick is Jarfix. You just click this link right here. You'll be taken to this Jarfix website. You click this little link right here. It will download a small program. You click it. You click yes. And then it will say the dot jar suffix has been registered successfully and you click OK. If it says you need to download and install Java because it couldn't find Java, then you don't use the link that's in here because that one doesn't work. You go over to the links in the post again and click this one that says Java. So once you're on that website, you can click agree and install. It's a big red download button, so you can't really miss that. And then we can now actually go back to the folder where we had forge and then just hit F5 or just close and reopen this folder to refresh it. And now it should have this Java icon or you can actually right click and select Java from here. So either way this works, but I'm gonna just double click it and then the installer will appear. It will say 1.17.1 forge. All you gotta do is select install client and click okay. And there we go. After a while, it will tell you complete successfully installed client profile forge for 1.17.1. You click OK. And now there's actually just one thing we need to do, and that is download Optifine. 
So click the link in the post and then actually just find the one that says Minecraft 1.17.1. You click either download or mirror. Mirror is the one that doesn't really support the creator of Optifine and download will actually, you know, forward you to this ad page, which is similar to the one that you saw on the forked page. You wait five seconds and a skip button will appear. Now click download and quickly close this tab because it's going to redirect you to another ad. And because this is again, it's a .jar file. So you need to click keep here. And now drag this over to your desktop to make it very easy to access later. Because the next thing we're gonna do is actually minimize or close your browser. Go into the search bar and type in percent app data percent, just like that. So this is the folder you're gonna see, which has a bunch of other folders, but the only one you need is .minecraft. If you've installed mods before, make sure to actually rename that folder or make sure they're all compatible with 1.17.1 Forge because if they're not compatible with 1.17.1 Forge, you're gonna have incompatibility and Forge is not gonna be able to launch Minecraft with Optifine. If you've never installed Forge before or any mods before, what you wanna do is actually right click somewhere, hover new and click folder and name it mods lowercase, just like that. Double click that folder and just drag in Optifine just like that. So normally you actually double click Optifine to install it, you will get this installer. It still works even if you use it as a mod but then you cannot use it with mods. Installing it this way, actually using it as a mod in the mods folder will launch it with other Forge mods. So if you had mods like Biomes of Plenty or maybe Iron Chest or something like that, you could still put those in here as well. And then you can use those mods with Optifine with shaders. So I'm back here in the Minecraft launcher. As you can see, we've just created a profile Forge. That's what the installer did for us. And now you just click play you will get this pop up because Mojang and Minecraft officially doesn't support any modded version of the game. So both Optifine is unofficially supported. It's like they kind of support modding, but they still warn you about it. If you follow the links I showed you in this video, then you will not have any issues. You can just click I understand the risks and then click play. Here we are in the main menu of Minecraft 1.17.1 with mods. As you can see, it says two mods loaded. If we go over to mods, it says Minecraft and Forge, but it doesn't show Optifine as a mod. But if you go over to options, video settings, as you can see in the bottom left corner, it says Optifine HD H1 Ultra. So now all we need to do is actually download shaders. So come back to your browser, come back to the post. So this is a link to BSL shaders. As you can see, this is the official post. Now you just scroll down to recent files, Minecraft 1.17, click the download icon, once again, it will take five seconds for it to download. There we go, it's just started downloading. It should be a very small file and then you just drag it over to the shader packs folder, which you can open by going into your Minecraft settings. So just like this options, video settings, shaders, and then click shaders folder. And you can just drag it in the folder that pops up. Once you go back into Minecraft, it should already be there. You just click it and you've now actually selected shaders. So there you go, that's pretty much it. You've now installed Forge and Shaders, so you can now use Forge mods and Optifine with Shaders. So that's it for this video. I hope this video actually did teach you how to install Forge and Optifine with Shaders for Minecraft 1.17.1. If it did, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up to let people know that this tutorial worked. Subscribe for more of these kinds of videos. And then as always, I will of course catch you in the next one. See ya.